So a lot of times on TikTok, you have people just spilling the beans about their particular communities. Case in point, you have a white woman that's going to really dive into something that we've definitely talked about in, in the, in the psychology of the white supremacist when in relation to black men, but listen to what this woman has to say. Let's roll that. You know, what's funny about white men saying stuff like this is that they would be the first to know since they love BBC more than anybody. I've had white men literally message me when I was doing OnlyFans with my ex, begging if they could suck his thing thing. And I've had white men say, oh, so what is it about BBC? Like, like they are obsessed with it. Like I've already told you guys, most men are bisexual and homosexual. And black men since slavery have been exploited as sexual objects. And this goes all the way back to white people cutting off their penises and keeping it their house like souvenirs. So black men have been extremely sexually abused and exploited and treated as sexual objects. And it's almost intentional that they created a lot of porn with a lot of white women and black men. And white men are very sexually attracted to black men, as we know, since slavery. And the white man has turned the black man into a sexual object or sex symbol because white men love them some BBC. So if anybody knows about BBC, it's white men. Cause, and then the little dick energy goes crazy because it's like white men are insecure about their think things if it's not, you know, even though there's white men with big ones, there's black men with small ones, it's whatever. But again, white supremacy has over-sexualized the black man and exploited his penis and turned the black man into an object, which explains a whole lot of behaviors on that end and why society is the way it is. But that's a whole nother situation. So I just find it funny when white men, you know, try to say stuff to white women about messing with black men because, you know, they're either jealous or they feel inferior. And like I said, there's no one that loves a BBC more than a white man. Am I right? And white men are cucks. Since the beginning of the time, they would watch the slaves. Their daughters, white men are cucks. They, they want to watch their wife get by a BBC. They're pervs. They're freaks. So it's like similar to how, you know, men are so sexually frustrated to the point that they hate women or, you know, they want us so bad that they have to create a way to make us feel inferior and, you know, all these mind games to make it easier for them to get a woman. I kind of feel the same way with white men trying to make black men feel inferior or put anyone down who deals with a black man because of not only the jealousy, but they want that black man, too. <laughs> and then this little race war between the men that they have fueled oh my woman my woman oh we need to create more white babies and then the black men are like well we're gonna take the white woman and make them black babies and they're just using children and women as casualties in this fucking race war <laughs> because everything to men is a game all they do is play video games everything's call of duty everything is a me versus them i need to win you need to lose so the black men get with the white woman despite the white man the white man gets with the black woman despite the black man and behind closed doors, all that white man wants is some BBC. Well, first and foremost, we know LGBT is their culture. They've been practicing LGBT all up when they, when they was definitely in Rome and the caves and everything else. That is their culture. Now, our people here have adopted some of their culture. That's why you have that. That is not a natural phenomenon at all. It's culture for them. But she's right. A after they would hang a black person, they would fight for the phallus of a black man. And they would want the, the phallus of a black man on their mantle. Men would want that. And when you talk about the women, we talk about the men. They said research says that when it comes to adult, you know, films, that films that have black men and white women in it is the most popular and make the most money. And we know men consume more adult uh, films than women consume. They want to see that. You're talking about these white supremacists. As she said, a lot of them are jealous of black men in many ways. Maybe jealous about our anatomy or jealous about, you know, maybe they can't have the, the black man. Like they, they want to have him like they had some of them in slavery. Cause let's call it what it is. You know, they called the process buck breaking where they would actually um, sodomize a slave in front of everybody. Well, uh, what kind of man would want to do something so degenerate and vile, unless he's a degenerate, vile demon? You understand what I'm saying? 
slavery have been exploited as sexual objects and this goes all the way back to white people cutting off their penises and keeping it their house like souvenirs so black men have been extremely sexually abused and exploited and treated as sexual objects and it's almost intentional that they created a lot of porn with a lot of white women and black men and white men are very sexually attracted to black men as we know since slavery and the white man has turned the black man into a sexual object or sex symbol so so really she's just spilling the beans on, on her community that's all it is to it and she's saying a lot of it fuels you know the the race war and and all of that and yeah you know some you know beyond which when she mentioned about black men getting with white women despite white men black men not even checking for white women like that I mean, like y'all really need to stop saying that because you think about it. They talk about like the passport Kings that's traveling, right? They're not going to European countries looking for women. They've been going to Latin America. You know, some of the brothers now are starting to go to the continent of Africa, which is great. That's where they've been should have been going. Some of them have been going to Thailand, the Philippines, et cetera. Right. They're not going looking for no white women. Like no, that's trust me that, the day of brothers just exclusively looking for white women, that's over. I'm not saying no brothers don't do it. Them brothers that live in them northern states and don't have a lot of black people, I, you see more of that. But when you come down south or even just have an opportunity to you know, be around different people, brothers ain't checking for them like that. So, yeah, y'all need to stop all that. And when brothers doing it, they definitely not thinking about the white man. Not at all. That's the last thing on his mind. So I just find it funny when white men, you know, try to say stuff to white women about messing with black men because, you know, they're either jealous or they feel inferior. And like I said, there's no one that loves the BBC more than a white man, am I right? And white men are cucks. Since the beginning of the time, they would watch the slaves, their daughters, white men are cucks. They, they want to watch their wife get by a BBC. They're pervs, they're freaks. So it's like similar to how, you know, men are so sexually frustrated to the point that they hate women, or, you know, they want us so bad that they have to create a way to make us feel inferior and, you know, all these mind games to make it easier for them to get a woman. I kind of feel the same way with white men trying to make black men feel inferior or put anyone down who deals with the black men because of not only the jealousy, but they want that black man, too. <laughs> you know, like I said, when you hear people in their community talk about things like this, believe them. Believe them 100 percent. She know her men. She know them way better than than most of us do. So yeah, I, I definitely believe now the fact that you say all men are, are, are bisexual or all this other, no, you talk, no, talk about the men in your community. So that's more so rele relegated to your community, ma'am. That's not relegated to my community. No, in my community, you know, that's something that's really not acceptable, but they tolerate it here in America and you go to the African continent where well, they got laws against it. So if, if we were so-called that way, it wouldn't be no laws against it. Let me know what y'all think about what this woman has to say. And what she's saying makes a lot of sense. It do, but, let, but let's see if, if some of them are going to be trying to explain in the comment section.